Hi, this is Howard from Writer's Room Pro, and I'm going to walk you through the steps to set up your own first project. Now, what you see here is my own homepage, where I have a bunch of projects. Some of them are actually duplicates of other projects, so I can play around with it without affecting the original one. So we're going to go over the buttons on the upper right here first. On the wheel, you have your own profile setting. Then you have the Help button. And then you have the My Projects list, which is the little house. And to the right of that is the logout. So I'm going to go back to my list of projects. I'm going to go to Add New Project. And the Project Setup screen will appear. Look, I'm going to put in my title. I'm going to call it My TV Show. Very original. This is going to be Season 1. I'm going to say it's 10 episodes. Let's call it a half-hour drama. You can see that we have one hour drama, half hour drama, half hour comedy, half hour sitcom, 22 minute animation, 11 minute animation, and a, a long form miniseries. So let's do a half hour drama. Then we choose the boards. Now, yeah, I want every board that's checked off is a board that I want. If I don't want it, I will uncheck it. But yes, I do want a season board. I want my episode board. I want my character board so I can chart the development of my characters. And I want my scrap board, even if I don't use it, at least I'll have it as part of the project. I can always use it for something um, to play around with, so it doesn't hurt to have that there. So I'll have all four boards. Episode structure. Do I want a teaser? Yes, let me do a teaser. And let's say three acts. And yeah, I want a tag. Hopefully this will be a binge-worthy show, and the tag will get someone to watch lead into the next episode. So yeah, I want my teaser, three acts, and a tag. Episode numbering convention. Do I want it to be episode 1, 2, 3, or 101, 102, 103, or 1001, 1002, 1003? I like the 101, 102, 103. That way my second season will be 201, 202, 203, and so on. Now, I have an opportunity to put an image in here. And how do I do that? I simply double-click, choose an image from my computer, and click Open. There's our picture. And next, I'm going to choose a project password. Now, this is very important. This project password is optional, and it's for your added security. You can set the password on, on your project, but the password is used to encrypt the contents of your cards before they're transmitted to the Writer's Room Pro system. And this ensures that anyone with access to the servers, that means anybody who works for Writer's Room Pro or anyone at Amazon where the servers are held, can never read them. It is encrypted. You will not be able to change this password, so make sure you know the password and you cannot recover this password should you forget it or lose it for any reason so please remember the password keep a copy of it you have to check off I understand the warnings now you don't need to set this password but if you do please remember it otherwise if you forget your project is locked up and we have no way to help you with that I'm not gonna set a password for this I'm just gonna go right to create the project and there it is I'm going to click to open this. I'm going to click on the season board, although I can click on any of those boards. And here's my season board. Now, all the boards are empty, but if I want to start up, let's say just 101, I'm going to start clicking. I double click that, and here's my first card. Yay. And I'm going to color code it red. And you know what? I think that I'm going to center this, and I'm going to make it white. Okay, and I'm going to draw a little something on it to celebrate in yellow okay maybe I'll just uh, underline this okay and if I don't like it I could always erase it you know what I don't like what I did so I'm gonna trash the whole card it's gonna ask me if I want to delete the card yes I'm gonna start again and this is my new card exclamation point I'm going to center it and I'm gonna color the card let's say this green color and I'm gonna make the uh, the text white I can either click escape or double click outside and there's my card now unless you have multiple screens where you can put a different board on each screen you can actually shift this one screen between the four different boards you set up so right now I'm on season board I can go to episode board I can go to character board I can go to scrap board now mind you I have not put any information in here except for that one card. I'm going to actually, if you look at the plus and minus magnifying glass over here, I'm actually going to reduce this. Now, you remember I set up for 10 episodes, so that's why I have episode 1 through 10 here with the naming convention that I chose. I'm going to go across the top here. This icon with the wrench 
actually has a bunch of different settings. One is you can rotate the board. So let's say you don't like coming from the top to the bottom. You can actually rotate the board so you're actually building it out left to right. You don't like that, go back again. And if you have any data in here, any cards, those cards will just shift automatically. And this goes for every screen. You have to switch each screen independently, but you'll see that you can tailor each screen the way you like it. Under Rotate Board is you have a bunch of other options with regard to the episode which we'll show you in later videos, but you can insert an episode, move an episode, duplicate an episode, delete an episode. You can renumber the cards. If you're moving stuff around, you need to reset the number of the cards. You can go back to project settings, which again will take you back to the settings that you set up. Let's say you want to change from 3x to 2x. You just click project settings and you can change that right here. You'll notice on the bottom, there's an option to set a screen unlock code. Now this password allows you to blank your screen when and if you're in a situation where you don't want someone seeing your work. Maybe you're in the writer's room and there's a visitor. Maybe you're done for the night and you close it up. Maybe you're at a cafe and you're working and you don't want people at the next table or the waiter or someone to see it. Uh, you can blank your screen and then you punch in a series of uh, digits, your unlock code, to open it up again. I'm going to set my unlock code at one, two, three, four. I'll show you how that works right now. Uh, just jumping over to the lock screen, that's the green icon that's next to the house, next to the home button between the home and the search. If I click that, look what happens. This locks up. And unless I type in the right password, this screen's not going to open up. So I'm going to punch in one, two, three, four, hit done, and we're back here. Continuing on, I can manage users. So let's say I'm a showrunner and I have multiple users or I have one of the individual licenses where I can add another writer to my project. I click manage users, type in that person's name. I can toggle what access they have, whether they have read write capabilities or just read only capabilities. I hit save changes. It'll email that user if they're in the system and it'll set them up on your project with the access that you allow them. Below that, we have a chat window. If I open the chat window, uh, if there's someone else in my project whose chat window is also open, we can text back and forth some messages. I'm going to turn that off for now. But below that, you see a navigation window. I'm going to jump over to a project I've been working on where all the boards have been populated with content. Now, let's say I had my entire screen populated with cards, but I'm zoomed in, so I only see a small fraction of my entire board, but I'm seeing those cards up close. I can actually move, you see that little rectangle within the rectangle? I can actually move that across and anywhere I want on the board where there are cards. And that way I don't have to zoom out and zoom in and move over. I can actually just move around this way. That way I can stay zoomed in so I can see my cards close up and then just move as I need to around the board. And that is the navigation window. Show remote users. Let's say I am working with a couple of other writers on a project. If I click show remote users, their icons will appear above the boards that they are currently on. So let's say I'm on, I'm on the season board here. Let's say my partner Jeff was also logged in and on the season board, Jeff's little icon would be above here. If he's on the episode board, I'll see, oh, Jeff's over on the episode board. And this goes for as many people, as many writers as you have in your project. You can see where they are located geographically in the project. Download report. Notice you have download report and you have download all reports. Download report, you have the option of a TXT, HTML, or RTF file. That will download the report from the screen that you are on. So right now I'm on the season board. If I click, let's say download report to TXT, it'll download just this season board as a TXT. If I go to download all reports, then it doesn't matter which board I'm on. If I download a TXT, it'll download the season board, the episode board, the character board, and the scrap board. And uh, we'll do that in another video, but that's just kind of laying the groundwork for what you should know. The help screen gives you information and tips. And this is where you can also access support and follow up on help desk tickets. Stay tuned for more videos introducing you to more features of Writer's Room Pro.